Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover and I'm Cindy Sexton. It's getting warmer outside and you may have already noticed snakes beginning to slither out into the sunshine. Some biologists in the state are on the lookout for a very specific kind of serpent. Channel 3's Lori Mitchell joins us in the studio to explain why. Lori. The snake they're looking for is the pygmy rattlesnake. It is native to Tennessee, but not much is known about it. And as we found out, the pygmy could actually impact your health. During our trip to the Chattanooga Zoo, we saw all kinds of venomous snakes. But one snake we didn't see was the pygmy rattlesnake. That's because it's extremely rare. So to help us get a better understanding of the pygmy, we talked to lead ectotherm keeper David Hedrick. Pygmy rattlesnakes are pretty short. Um, they're not going to get real long. They're maybe going to get a couple of feet long at best, and they're going to have kind of a grayish color and a little bit of red, very, very pretty. They're also considered a threatened species. The TWRA and biologist at Tennessee State University want to learn more about these snakes, which are important to our ecosystem and to us. So they are important in that they control pest populations and they keep rodents from overpopulating and they keep those tick numbers down and prevent the spread of disease that can directly affect us pretty harshly. A single snake can take out one to two thousand ticks a year. They eat lots of rodents and a big threat we have coming down this year, it's supposed to be a really bad year for Lyme disease. And so these rodents that they consume, they carry a lot of ticks. According to the CDC, Lyme disease is transmitted to humans through tick bites. So now that the weather is warming up, be on the lookout for the pygmy rattlesnake. And if you happen to see one, take a picture and use the GPS on your phone to document your exact location. Researchers want to know about it. And as I mentioned, very little is known about this snake, but experts say it is possible you'd have a better chance of spotting one in middle or in West Tennessee. In the studio, I'm Lori Mitchell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.